就寻找一种。Antisemitism is rearing its ugly head again. For decades, we were spared. Now it's becoming rampant throughout the world in so many countries. Even in America, people are scared and frightened like never before. Historically, the first overt display of anti-Semitism, arguably, was when the Viceroy of Egypt stood against Yehuda, took the brother Benjamin hostage, and threatened the Jewish people. The truth is that it looked to be anti-Semitism, but really, we know behind the scenes. What the brothers didn't know, that they were facing their own brother Yosef, disguised an imposter as the viceroy of Egypt, says the Meshulach the Ishbitzer, that this is the case for every time we're frightened of anti-Semitism. We think Iran is out to get us, Hezbollah, Hamas, BLM, KKK, whatever it is. It's all a facade. It's all a ruse. It's all our imagination. It's an illusion. It's a mirage. They don't really exist. It's really brother against brother. It's not an anti-Semite. The reason why they seem to exist is because it's a Yosef against Yehuda. It's because we sold our brother into slavery. It's because we humiliated or ashamed or fought against another Jew. It's all internal. There's no such thing, according to the Ishbitzer, as an external threat. It looks like it is. But in essence, it's just a puppet. It's just Hashem's way of making us frightened. But it doesn't, indeed, really exist. It's our own issue. It's our own problem. It's because we're having internal strife in our families. Because we're siblings that don't get along. Because there are kahilas that are splitting. Because there are shivas that are building walls down the middle. There's no such thing as enemy, other than our own enemy that we create. And therefore, it's imperative. More than ever today, when we're facing what looks to be the greatest anti-Semitism ever, that means that there's more sinuschinim than ever. It means that there's a lot of work for us to do. We must, must, must be mavater. We have to take those insults in stride. Let it go. Who cares? Don't you want Mashiach? You're preventing Mashiach. If you're holding on to a grudge, if you're not forgiving, you're not letting go. If you're the one. That's going to be the cause of Chas Shalom, another terrorist attack. You're the one that's going to be the cause of more tears, of more sorrow, of more crying, more anguish. Let go, make peace, bring Mashiach.